Welcome to the Influencers Project. The aim of these short digital resources is to help you to develop your digital and social media literacy. In this lesson, we are going to explore the topic of your digital footprint, looking at what your digital footprint is and the various ways you build your footprint online. We will also look at the top tips to help you protect your footprint online. Your personality, the decisions you make and your actions say a lot about who you are to the people around you. Have you ever wondered what your online actions are telling people about you? Your digital footprint can say a lot about you. So, what is a digital footprint? Much like physical footprints we leave in the snow or sand, digital footprints are the impressions we leave behind from our online interactions. Every online action you make leaves a trail behind you to form your digital footprint. There are two kinds of digital footprints, active footprints and passive footprints. Active digital footprints are the traces you leave behind from deliberate actions you make on the internet. These deliberate actions include all social media activities like posting, commenting, liking, sharing, etc. Other actions that can contribute to making active digital footprints are filling in online forms and agreeing to the use of cookies on websites. Passive digital footprints are the traces you leave behind without meaning to and sometimes without knowing you are doing it. For example, websites collect information about you through your IP address. So if you are regularly visiting a site, each time you go back, you are building your footprint through your IP address. Another way that you contribute to your passive digital footprint is through geolocation technology, often used by apps to pinpoint your location so that they can better target their advertisements. We discussed cookies in detail in Module 1, so we understand how websites and apps collect little bits of data about you. When you are informed about the use of cookies, this is active footprinting. However, there are instances where you are not informed about your cookies and the website continues to collect data based on your interaction. This is a form of passive footprinting. So how can you protect your digital footprint? There are six important steps you can take to manage your digital footprint. Number one is assess your digital footprint. Search your name on a variety of search engines and examine what your current digital footprint is. What information about you is being found? Are you happy with the information presented about you? Number two is password protection. Don't share your password with others and be sure to change them regularly. Make sure the existing passwords you have are strong and update them if needed. Number three is just go anonymous. Consider using nicknames, false names or anonymous accounts to carry out some of your online activity. Number four is think before you click. Take time to self-reflect before you post, comment, like or click online. Ask yourself, is this something you will be proud of in a few years time? Number five is check privacy settings. Check the privacy settings on the various social media sites that you have a profile on. Can you update any of these settings to give you more privacy? And number six, review your activity. Take time to look through your activity online. Do you have apps on your phone that you no longer use? Are you a member on websites that you don't visit anymore? If you don't need it, delete it. You've now completed this short video, which examined what your digital footprint is and provided you with six steps to help you manage your digital footprint. In our next resource, we will examine what your digital footprint is being used for and discuss the pitfalls of having a digital footprint. For more resources that will help you to develop your digital and social media literacy, please visit the Influencers Project website at www.influencersproject.eu.